When Big Trouble finds big stars, this is where they come. The law offices of Tom Mesereau. The names of his clients read like a who's who of high profile defendants. Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, Robert Blake. But Mesereau is more than a top Hollywood legal gun, as Jane Velez Mitchell discovered when she found him working for free in Alabama to save a man's life. Thank you, Jesus. Gladys, how does it feel to be a free man? Very good. Hugs of joy in an Alabama courthouse. The Latham family says famed Michael Jackson attorney Tom Mesereau saved Glennis Latham from being put to death. What are you going to do first? Go see my mama. Latham faced a death penalty murder charge. Then Mesereau jumped in for free with Birmingham attorney Charles Salvaggio. I followed them into court as they won a plea bargain for Latham. I'm ecstatic. This is the best plea bargain I've ever seen in a death penalty case. In an amazing turn of events and a tribute to Mesereau's magic, Latham admitted to the much lesser charge of conspiracy to possess marijuana and with time served, walked out of jail a free man. And we'll pray. <laughs> You're gonna pray? Yeah, thank the Lord. Mesereau says Latham was never even suspected of being the trigger man. Prosecutors charged this local drug kingpin, Charles Tinker, used Latham's auto body shop to plan the murder. We call this guilt by association. This is a perfect example of things going wrong. Tinker just got a life sentence after being convicted of ordering that murder and the execution of Belinda Thomas's husband. It brings me joy to know that justice can be served and that I'm alive to see it. As for Latham... He gets roped into this primarily because of where he lives and where he's from. And it's a classic case of injustice, and it's a classic case of someone who should not be facing the death penalty. Tom Mesereau has come to the Deep South at least half a dozen times to defend poor citizens facing the death penalty, always working for free, and so far, always with successful results. He's probably the greatest legal mind that I know, Perry Mason. In real life. In real life. Salvaggio says Mesereau's passionately against the death penalty. It's a very arbitrary, very cruel, very un-American type of process. Mesereau took me to Birmingham's famous 16th Street Baptist Church, site of the deadly 1963 Klan bombing documented in Spike Lee's film, Four Little Girls. <laughs> Mesereau didn't bring up race in Latham's case, but believes the death penalty targets poor minorities. The chances of your facing the death penalty are far greater. Mesero showed me Birmingham's monument to Dr. Martin Luther King. Alabama still has signs of two separate worlds, but Mesero's determined there not be separate justice. Well, my father always taught me to, uh, to keep an open mind, to look for injustice, and to always be very sensitive to, to people who, who face oppression, who face injustice, namely poor people. Tom, I love you, and I appreciate all that you have done for my brother. All right, great story. Thanks, Jane.